welcome once again to Debsy's Delight. And as you know, something delicious is cooking today. Today, we are going very, very traditional and local, just like my dress. And guess what it is? Palm nut soup. A Ben Kwan Papa B. This recipe will give you the most delicious, flavorful palm nut soup you've ever had in your entire life. So let's get cooking, guys. Oh, I nearly forgot. <laughs> As tradition demands, if you're new on this channel, I give you a warm welcome. If you're a returnee, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button below it will help me a lot it motivates me to do more videos and please click on the little bell so that whenever i post another video you will be the first to be notified now let's really get cooking <laughs> let's start with the ingredients you need your onions as i say all the time one of the secrets to getting the best meals is in the onions, that's why I've got lots here. You'll need your ginger. Yes, I've got lots as well because it adds a lot of flavour to my fruits. You need your seasoning cube, your inkitinkiti, your cloves, your garlic, your scotch bonnet peppers, your fresh tomatoes, your mushrooms. I love these mushrooms, guys. It's called shiitake. It's almost like the one from home, so I use it in my soups most of the time. You also need your seafood. That's tilapia fish, mackerel. I use both of them because they all have unique taste it brings to my soup. I've got my crab. I've also got some leftovers from the mushrooms which I'm going to incorporate in the soup as well. All these are totally optional. You can use any meat or seafood you like. I've got my assorted meat as well, as you can see. My palm soup base or palm nut if you're back home and my salt. All the ingredients I showed you have been washed and nicely cleaned but before the action begins let me show you how I make my tribe when cooking I tie it into nuts to ensure it traps some of the soup <laughs> this makes it juicy and nice to bite into so this is how I make my nuts and then cut them into pieces just like so you have to try it and you will thank me later. It makes it juicy, you know, and when you bite into it, it takes you to another level. <laughs> and I cut it like so. And there we have it. All looking nice and cute. <laughs> now let the action begin. I'll get my meat ready by transferring it into a pot. I'll cut one of the onions into really tiny pieces and add it to the meat which I'm going to boil. I'll go ahead and add some salt, half of the seasoning cube. In goes my tomatoes, my onions. I make some little insertions into it to make sure it boils quicker and the flavors are well infused. I'll cut my ginger into halves. My scotch bonnet peppers goes in as well and a little bit of water. Now let's turn on our cooker and put our meat on fire. This is how big my pot is and with all that meat in there it's actually heavier. It's going on the fire now. <laughs> While it's on fire I'll prep my onions, ginger, garlic cloves and inkatinkati for blending. Please note that I boil the meat first to induce the natural flavours that all the meat has, which is what you want for your soup. After 10 minutes, I'll take out my pepper just to make sure I don't lose it in the soup. <laughs> I'll then add my blended mix. Make sure you leave some for your seafood and mushrooms. 
After another 5 minutes of boiling, I'll go ahead and give it a little jiggle to make sure it marries with the meat. Make sure you don't stir it too much to squash your tomatoes, okay? <laughs> I'll then start boiling my seafood by putting it in a separate pot. I do this to make sure I get all the flavours I need from the seafood and not to overboil it with the meat. So I'm adding the blender mix, any spice of your choice, this is black pepper, my vegetable seasoning and some salt, you can use any seasoning of your choice and just a little tiny bit of water and set it on fire to boil. At this point I'll prep my palm soup base by mixing it with hot water and add it to the soup. minutes it's ready for our palm soup base to go in so come see mm, the vapor and the aroma guys <laughs> you should be in my kitchen come what we're going to do is to take out the tomato onion and ginger because we don't want it to get lost <laughs> once we add the palm base you see the aroma in here is divine my family <laughs> I'll give it a quick stir again and then go ahead and add my mixed palm soup base do it gradually because you do not want to get any particles in there the reason why I mix it with hot water is because of these particles that settle under the base Please do not add it to your soup, okay? I'll give it a quick stir, cover it and allow it to come to a boil. While I wait for it to boil, I'll while away the time by washing some dishes. If you want a clean kitchen. <laughs> clean as you go, clean as you go, clean as you go. If you want a clean kitchen, clean as you go. If you want a clean kitchen, <laughs> I'll now blend the tomatoes, ginger, onion, and pepper I took out of the soup and add it to my soup, which has come to a boil. I'll add a little bit of water, give it a quick stir, cover it and allow it to boil before I add enough water. As you can see, I'm adding enough water now after I allowed it to boil for about 10 minutes. Do not skip this part, the part where you have to allow it to boil before adding enough water. I'll cover it halfway and check on my seafood, which is ready now. Lovelies, I'm going to fry my tilapia. Yes, I told you I was going to give you a flavorful soup and there you have it. This adds a lot, a whole lot of flavor to your soup. Yes, so there you go. <laughs> it's looking all golden and very inviting, but I'm not going to be tempted. I need it in my soup. <laughs> so my soup has been boiling beautifully for about 20 minutes now. And I'll go ahead and add all the seafood. So the fried fish, the boiled fish, the crab, the mushrooms, all will go in at this point. And look at how beautiful that looks, my people. Do you want it? It's just amazing, very colorful. I'll add the rest of my seasoning cube and some salt to adjust the taste and give it a quick jiggle and allow it to boil there is no pounder soup in my house without a preparansa I'm just setting some aside for my preparansa later which I'll show you in another video so stay tuned <laughs> allow the soup to boil stirring it from time to time and after about 20 minutes turn down the heat and let it simmer through to get all the flavors 
properly infused okay once it simmers after another 20 minutes our soup is well and good to go look at how beautiful the fish is intact nothing has been smashed in the soup and it looks perfect So our soup is ready now and it's time to taste. <laughs> what would you normally have your palm nut soup with? I know it goes with rice balls or fufu, even baku with okra. Yeah, I mean baku with the soup and some okra bowl in it. It goes with gari as well. What would you normally have it with? So I've got myself some fufu I'm going to pair it with. Let me serve it now and let's see how well it's going to go together. As you can see, I've got an assortment of meat. So what should I go for? A little bit of crab, yeah. <laughs> some kotoje, some soup, some goat meat. Everything is in there. <laughs> hmm. This is beyond amazing. By the way, my hands are washed clean, okay? <laughs> Let me enjoy this food. Another one. Mm. This is the best. <laughs> mm. <Ooh. laughs> mm. Wash my hands. I'll be right back. <laughs> So I'm back guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, if you like this video, this recipe, kindly give us a thumbs up, please click on the subscription button if you haven't subscribed, click on the little bell so that whenever I post another video you will be the first to know. If you try this recipe, don't forget to tag us in a picture on Instagram at Debsy's Delight, okay? Until I come your way again, this is Debsy's Delight, I love you all, but God loves you most. Bye for now.